I don't know who needs to hear this, but God doesn't care how long you pray or how many chapters of the Bible you read. If you can pray for three hours, fine and good. If you can read 17 chapters of the, of the Bible, you're on fire. But let me tell you what God really loves. God's love language. God does not see prayer hours. He sees obedience. God does not see how long you read the Bible. He sees genuineness. God sees you and accesses your spirit through how willing you are to obey him and how genuine you are when it comes to him. God doesn't care if you read your Bible for 10 hours. If your heart is not genuine and you're, and you're not obedient, you are not even, you're not as a, a child of God as you think you are. The real children of God manifest their love for God through how willing to obey they are, through their like willingness to obey and their genuineness at heart. So let me tell you this now so you can rest. You can rest in Jesus' name. It's good to read your Bible. It's good to be able to pray for two hours. But if your heart is not genuine, eh, and you do not have the willingness to obey God, it doesn't matter. What makes you a sacrifice is obedience. What made Jesus the perfect sacrifice is his complete willingness to obey and his genuine genuineness of and the genuineness of his heart. You guys have me stuttering, but I know you understand what I'm trying to say. So if you want to be a sacrifice, a living sacrifice, you must be willing to obey. You must be willing to obey and you must be genuine in your heart. It doesn't matter if you pray for three hours. If God has given you the grace, capish, you're good. But if God hasn't given you the grace, what you need to focus on is obedience and genuineness. Do you understand me? How are you able to be obedient or genuine? It's by following the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Yes, it's by following what the Holy Spirit says, what the word of God says. What did the word of God say? Love your neighbor as yourself. First of all, love the Lord your God. Show kindness to your neighbor. That's how God sees your genuine heart. When you're genuinely kind to others, when you love others, when you're trying to go the extra mile for others and loving the people who don't love you back, that is what God sees. God doesn't see that you're, you fasted 300 days. Those things are good. Those things can help you. But when you do them with the wrong motives, you get nothing from God. But if you're fasting because of how much you love God or you're fasting about some people or fasting about like the body of Christ and you're, and you're more focused on being a good Christian and helping others... That's how you know you're genuine. So let me tell you this and tell you this now. Focus more on being a sacrifice. Focus more on living your life to please God and please others. Focus more on showing God on the outside. Don't tell me that you have to read your Bible for three hours. No, not everybody who reads their Bible for three hours will go to heaven. Ah. So now let me tell you this. Focus more on showing God outside. Focus more on showing that love of the Holy Spirit. Focus more on showing that kindness of the Holy Spirit. Your relationship with God is not performance-based. God bless you.